Kevin Lipton started buying and selling coins at the age of 13, and within a few years earned a reputation as one of the great numismatic prodigies. At only 17 years of age, he started his own company, Kevin Lipton Rare Coins. Since then, he's been one of the major players in the rare coin market, taking part in many of the largest deals of the era. In 2000, Lipton was the recipient of the PNG Sal Kaplan Award for his help in cleansing the profession of fraud and thievery. In 2012, at the young age of 53, he was honored with the PNG Lifetime Achievement Award. Kevin? I've heard about um, youth and technology. Uh, number one, our industry, like every other great walk, walk of life, has always been about mentorship. I always had great mentorship in the coin business, from the great luminaries of the hobby, like the Stax family, Q. David Bowers is here today, and I don't think we have anything to worry about in that regard. Uh, I think older people will always be interested in youth and, and young people being successful and be there for them. We don't have to worry about that. I heard about 30-somethings. Um, all I have working for me now are 30-something people. And they're all great, they're young, they're interested. And uh, I've made it a point that both my sons and their friends, I always got them interested in coins from a very early age and were blessed with it the way I always was. And um, it's just a wonderful opportunity, and it will be. We don't have to worry about the future of the coin, coin business and coin collectors. It will be there long past our lives and in the future. So you guys are all good. You have nothing to worry about in that regard. Uh, good news in regard to the, to the hobby itself is we have a mint director right now, David Ryder, who's very interested in promoting our hobby. Just a couple of things that happened this year with the, the W Quarter program, the W Penny program, is energizing more interest in coins all the time from a lower level. So that's, that's all great stuff. So we're all safe. No one, no one has to worry about the coin business dying. Technology. Obviously, as technology grows and gets better, you know, well, uh, it'll help make more sales as well. I mean, I myself bought an 1804 out of uh, the Poe collection while flying home from New York to Los Angeles on an airplane. I've, I can't tell you how many times I've um, been at my computer in a very relaxed state, pressing buttons, buying lots of coins from, from our dear friends' auctions. So technology's on their way as well. The most important thing is marketing, and we see more and more of it at a higher level all the time through um, the way the major auction companies sell coins, as to seeing a lot of stuff on television. There's a lot of really great work being done on TV today. Um, there's a company called Rare Collectibles Television that's done by a guy named Rick Tomasco that sells coins in an infomercial way where it's educational and people have a great interest, they're selling a lot of coins. So um, our, our future is great, there's nothing to worry about. As to markets, they will come and go, they will ebb and flow. Uh, interest in gold will be greater when we have Democrats in office instead of Republicans, and the stock market's not doing as well, but as collectors go, they will always be here, and they will be strong forever, no doubt, even when I'm gone. So. And I've been here around too long as it is. Thank you so much. Enjoy.